I just started repeating, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. I so clearly could have died. Something in me, I had to instantaneously accept the reality of loss. What is the best way to look at what happened? Do you know what I mean? Is it a loss? Hmm. Is it a tragedy? I started to realize day by day but that who says that this isn't an opportunity? You know, what constitutes a, um, something good or something bad is a little bit in our mind. I'm in a new body now. Life goes on, you know, and so my yoga practice has just had to shift. You know, there's some things I, I can't do as well and some things I could do even better. How does anybody get through a challenging situation? What do you hold on to? You know, is it your faith? Is it your belief in something greater than yourself? My father is Nigerian, West African. My mother is, uh, is American, you know, Russian, Polish, Jewish descent. I grew up in a family that's very, um, very human and about humanity. You know, there's so many, so many, so many kinds of people that that faith, you know, that's sort of my faith is um, uh, one of several, but, that, but that's an important one for me is just knowing that we're all connected and we can all help each other through our different, you know, experiences. Because you never know what people are going through. When people kept asking me that, you know, like, how are you doing this? I don't know how you're doing this. I could never do this. And I, I started to answer like, wait a minute. You don't know. Like, how do you know what you would do really in a trauma situation? You know, in life, we're taken to these places that are just deeply beyond what we expect, you know, and you have to then I guess, you know, dig so deep into a place in yourself that you don't even know that you have. And I found that in this, through this accident, and I think anyone can attest to this who's been through a life, a near-death near experience, that it essentializes you so that your purpose becomes crystal clear. I don't have time for negativity, you know? It's like there are people counting on me, and I think that I feel like I can really benefit the world from continuing to carry out my message and my art, my art form. This is how I live my life up to now. Why would I stop now? I have to, I have to try to make the most of whatever is happening right now.